Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to the January 8th, the wonderful Wednesday edition of today's Trader's Edge show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. What a market we've got. Plenty to take a look at, of course, uh, during this next hour. It's really all about you. I would love to hear from you. Uh, put an extra set of eyes on uh, whatever symbol, whatever instrument it is that you're trading. We can look at different time frames, get a feel for whether it's topping, whether it's forming a bottom, where's price, uh, where's support and resistance out there. We're certainly going to do that during the hour out here. So you can give us a call at 877-927-6648. If you can't call in, well, we've got you covered there, too. You can always send me an email. Steve at TFNN.com. Inside that subject heading, please put radio show question. Of course, in our Tigers Den, well, any ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on a wonderful Wednesday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to Lush Show. Right now, we got indices all in the green out here. The Dow up about seven tenths of a percent. Uh, the Dow is, well, the transports are leading the charge. They're up a little over 1%. They're up 118 points, trading at 11,005. The Dow is at 28,777. The one-armed bandit is alive and well. The s and is up 20 points. The NASDAQ up 74. The Russell 2000 up uh, six point, uh, seven, eight, uh, The semis are up six points out there. The spot volatility index, it is now below its 50-day exponential moving average. That's the number you're going to want to be paying attention to at the end of the day. We'll take a look at what that level is. Right now, the spot is trading out at 1322. If we take a look at the gold contract, down to about 13 bucks. So we'll go take a look and see if there's some bottoming patterns out there, short term or not. Silver's down 18 cents. Lights we crude up three bucks, nearly five percent to the downside. Lead the charge dollar-wise to the upside. It is it's truncated in the den, huh? The screen. Bummer. I don't know what to tell you. Um, and I think there was a Skype update or something last night there, Mr. Bill. And and because things are not exactly looking correct on my screen either with regard to the Skype aspect. But we're just going to have to uh, trod through this as much as we can. We'll let the guys in the uh, t uh, production room try to uh, get things up. Uh, figured out. Uh, Tesla is, by the way, the leader to the upside. It's up uh, $23. Google's up 15. Booking Holdings, 12. Mercado Libre is up 11. To the downside, it's market taxes. Holdings down about 10 bucks. Uh, Royal Gold down six. Zebra Technologies down five. Pioneer Natural Resources, that is also trading to the downside. So let's begin. There's no questions. Uh, I take that back. I do see one question here. So let's go take a look at the uh, answer to this question, see if we can figure it out. The question is coming in from George in Tampa. And George wants to take a look at ticker symbol BTG. So let's go take a look at BTG and see what it, uh, first you've got to, well, you can tell I went to the TFNN school of typing because I added an additional uh, letter in there. But BTG, that is B2 gold. Your question is a good entry point. <clears throat> A good entry point. A good entry point is going to be when gold bottoms, because there is a directional correlation, directional correlation between the way that the um, the way that the uh, uh, gold mining equities trade, as well as gold. Now, take a look at BTG specifically. You are going to see that prices above the daily, weekly, and monthly profile levels out there. So, in essence, that's saying, hey, that is uh, bullish. If we take a look at that, say the – so here's the daily time frame chart. Um, you're asking for an entry point. So entry points would be – now, I gave you what I believe is the correct entry point. And that is, George, you need to be comfortable that your entry point into BTG is when it is UCA bottom in gold. And I would put more of the priority in gold. But to answer your question, with price being above the top of the daily profiles, and you've got really four levels uh, to take a look at a position – Forget about trying to time it with gold, although I don't suggest you do that. But three dollars and sixty-six cents would be one. Three fifty-five is another, and three forty-five is the other. That is the bottom. 
the latter being the bottom, the center, and then the top of the profile. And if price is below 345, 318 is the price on the daily chart where BTG had broken out. And because you asked about BTG, that means we're going to have to go take a look at gold. On a weekly basis, what do we have going on inside of BTG? We can see price has been moving higher, doing less relative energy. No bearish reversal candle yet out here. But uh, be cautious. 377 would say where BTG could find support. That's its uh, weekly oscillator on change line. From a monthly standpoint with regard to this equity, uh, let's do a little bit of a wave count to the upside out here. See where we're at. We're only in bar seven from a weekly standpoint of a TD setup nine count. So we're not seeing the top here. But I do believe that the real key here, George, is what is gold doing? So let's go take a look at Goldilocks, try to get a feel for what it is uh, trying to accomplish out here. Now, it's a new profile that is trying to form inside of gold. This is brand new today. Uh, we really won't know whether this will hit or not. Now, the reality is when, when a profile forms below price is actually bullish but look at that old key reversal bearish engulfing session that we have today so price may pull back to the fifth uh, to the top of that profile or bottom top is 1532 the bottom and the center are both 1522 uh jay i apologize uh, that the charts aren't centered on the page we're just going to have to let the uh, guys in the production room try to figure that out but yeah please watch them on tiger tv um that would be the uh, best way and there's no way for me to reboot my system and get back up and running for you uh, with inside the break time that's that's not going to happen unfortunately there's too many things going on in the background but let me describe to you that there is a new profile that is attempting to form and and this would say 1522 or 1532 um, to the extent that, uh, George, you believe that this is a top in gold. That's an area where I would be looking, an area where I would be looking. Now, if we take a look at the daily, why is it that gold might be topping out here? Well, you know that uh, we use a handful of patterns out there. Uh, two of those patterns are in effect today. Those two patterns are wave number seven. That is letter G. And that's starting from the low out here on November the 12th. So now wave number G, if there's a higher high tomorrow, well, that can continue on. But right now, uh, this is suggesting that you've got a wave seven top out here. Additionally, as long as uh, gold closes above the bar, the close from bar number five, that's 1528.10, and likely it's going to do that, then what today will become is a TD setup nine count. So now you've got two topping signals in play. Now, what sellers are given the uh, they're given the benefit of the doubt that they should be able to push price down to support where is support on the daily time frame well we just took a look at the new daily profile that's forming so you have those levels and now what you've got is you've got uh, 1536 90 1536 or 1537 at Stevie's green line we can see that that green line had turned red um, about uh, eight nine ten sessions ago um, and so we know that there's usually a meetup uh, of price and it. So 1537 is really, George, where I thank you. You, you just uh, you, you keep your hands in your pocket, so to speak. You keep your powder dry for the time being. And let's wait to see how Goldilocks plays out here. But right now you've got two topping signals, and that suggests that BTG will continue to pull back, along with all of the other mining equities out there. Steve Roach with TFNN. We'll be right back. If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, TAS understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the TAS Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. 
Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, uh, folks. Uh, so let's go take it. We've got another question here that has come in. Right now, Dow's up 179, S&P 19 points. This one coming in from Rachel in North Carolina. And uh, so Rachel writes in, I've uh, I've uh, traded this stock in the past and have done well. I'm looking for a possible um, entry point. Um, so let's go take a look at it. So thanks for writing in, Rachel. So ticker symbol here is is uh, F I V N. That's the uh, uh, and that is for five nine Inc. And uh, Rachel, as we take a look at the uh, daily, weekly, monthly time frame charts here, we can see that uh, today uh, price is trying to get above resistance sixty nine twenty one on the daily. And 6802 for the weekly. Both of those are the top of the profiles. And if price is able to close above that, says that it should be off to the race. Now we've got to go look at my other charts out there to see if there's any other type of topping signals. But as far as resistance, um, price is now getting ready to, it appears, trade above it. Volume is uh, is. Uh, about 286,000 shares. The last time that uh, this equity, FIVN59 Inc., was up at these levels, it had volume of about 889,000. You're at 286. So it's taking on that prior high with lighter volume. Always says, uh, just be careful out there. Let's go look at my other charts, see what we've got here. So you're looking to get into this. And right now, and just take a look at our task market profiles, you would have to play this as a momentum trade. Uh, as far as your entry point, they would have to be a uh, pull back to the top of those profiles 6802 to 6921 but in looking at the uh, daily time frame chart out here one thing that we notice with regard to this equity the last time that it topped out here in any kind of significant way was back on the trading day of august 28th and on that day rachel what we saw was price was moving higher you're doing it with less relative energy if you look at the bottom of my panel out here bottom panel of the screen that's uh, dealing with the relative strength index out there um, and you can see that it was a lower high that formed when a higher high was formed in price and then you got your bearish reversal candle the bearish engulfing that went ahead and sent off a uh, set off a, a price move down to where this equity had previously broken out, which was $50.50. Found a bottom there, it's moved back up, it's above those highs, but now what you have that appears to be forming 
uh, is another one of those roads momentum indicator tops. Now, yesterday, actually, you got the signal. What price didn't do was close below Stevie's green line out there. In fact, today, at 68.33, price has bounced off of that level. So I'm going to suggest, just based upon this daily chart, you need to let this pattern play out. Now, it's possible that we won't get a roads momentum indicator top. Price will continue to rise. It'll eventually overtake the uh, RSI reading from back of a couple of weeks ago when that highest level was attained out there and then that's fine it just keeps moving forward and some kind of a to b equals cd up action out here but the only trade that i could give you and the daily says be cautious out here would be you know some kind of momentum trade and i would just simply say you'd have to use the top of those profiles as your entry level there as far as the uh, weekly time frame out here let me see what the weekly time frame uh, has got in store for us um not much Really, so I don't have the I don't have a topping signal here. Price above 67.16 says that uh, everything is uh, good. And if I look at the monthly time frame chart, the longer term time frame chart. Now this has been a beautiful looking run out here. If you go back just simply to 2015, it was about three bucks. Right now it's at 69 dollars. So uh, that's a beautiful thing. And, um, and in fact, if you look at those monthly profiles out here, you've never seen a close below the bottom of one of those boxes on the weekly. Yeah, you have seen that. But on the monthly time frame chart out here, I don't know. Let's just try this just for blanks and giggles. Just go see what the wave count is. Okay, we've got to do the another one. So the next one, Stevie, would start right here. And then we're going to have to do another one to start that right about here. But it doesn't look like we've got a topping signal. Doesn't look like it, but let's just make sure out here with Stevie. Uh, but we do have price moving higher, doing less relative energy. So it's got that same type of pattern on the monthly that it does on the daily. So, Rachel, I'll just get back to if you want to play this as a momentum, then go for it. Um, but I'd say wait to see how this daily time frame plays out uh, because you might get that confirmed roads momentum indicator top, in which case. Um, that uh, price could pull back to 58.94. That's where you would have your sights set on. Robert writes in, and Robert wants to take a look at AUY. So another gold stock, uh, Yamana Gold out there, I believe. And uh, that's pulling back. Uh, it is back inside at this stage of the game. It's back down below the top of its daily profile. That was 380 out there. So your next price target to the downside, 368, and then 347. Robert writes in, can you tell me a good buy point for AUY? Why. Robert, it's going to really be the same thing for any of these uh, gold mining equities, not until we see gold bottom. And we already went through that and we didn't see that. Uh, we didn't see that um, when we were looking at uh, at the gold contract on the daily basis. Oh, that's a real bummer. Uh, one of my uh, one of my tools that I need to use is is not there. Shoot, 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 shoot. Well, here, let me just pull over uh, and I can't reboot. Let me pull over gold. I may have to go to the backup plan. I don't have it just yet, but I'll formulate it during the uh, break. But here on a, oh, I know one thing I can do, because uh, we can take a look at key levels of support and resistance. I can look at three different time frames. Just had to remember that I have that, that chart handy, handy dandy. So let's go pull out that handy dandy chart as soon as I can find it. It's right here. Now what we're going to take a look at. Robert, it's just simply the short term, because we had already covered the daily, I believe, in the weekly time frame out there. But here in the daily time frames, we're just using the TD9 count levels of support as well as the count support and resistance. You can see on the 30-minute time frame, that's the top panel, and in the center, you've got 60 minutes down below. That is 120 uh, minutes. The red horizontal lines are your breakout levels, so they are where price should find support. We can see that price broke through one level on the 30 minute, which was 1567, found support at 1559.70. Price is basically trading at that level. Go to the 60 minute time frame, and you can see why there was a pause in price of the decline in gold, because on that 60 minute time frame, it got down and formed a TD setup nine count. It can do it that low can be formed on bars eight, nine, or the bar following nine. In this case here, it was the bar following nine. Uh, it still is trading below its breakout level. That's 1565.40. You're below the breakout level of 1564.90 on the two-hour time frame chart. This suggests that price, the price of gold wants to move lower out here. Um, so now is not a time to be looking at it, in my opinion. I think the time to be looking is when gold finds a bottom.
Uh, if we take a look at, uh, and so I know I'm not spending uh, too much time on Yamana. Price is trading above the top of the weekly and above the bottom of the monthly. It's because my other charts, I'm not going to be able to, uh, uh, they've got a problem and I am going to have to reboot this uh, system. Uh, but I'm going to come up with another uh, option for you. But I am going back to just simply take a look at gold just so that we don't beat this horse to death, so to speak. We've got gold moving lower in all major currencies. Here is our primary horizontal trading range. Is a key level to be watching. It's 1561. We're at 1560 right now. If we see a close back below 1561, that's its weekly horizontal trading range. It'll be back inside the weekly range out there. What price has been doing, what it did overnight, was it got up to the resistance level of 160140. It got a little bit above, above that level. Let me just turn the weekly, uh, even though it's a weekly chart we're looking at, here give me one moment i think we can do this before we go to a breakout here horizontal trading ranges i'm going to turn the weeklies off and just so you can take a look at the monthly that's what we're really looking at out here for everybody robert really does look like where gold's going to move back to is 1462.70 steve rhodes will be right back I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, uh, folks. Uh, yeah, I didn't get it uh, totally done uh, before the uh, breakout here, but just give me one more moment, and that way we'll be able to pull up some uh, daily, weekly 
monthly charts up here for whatever instrument it is that somebody wants to look into. So I'm going to just put this off to the side. Uh, we'll have it uh, at our disposal should we need it. So uh, let's go take it. I don't have any other questions that are in. Of course, I would love to hear from you at 877-927-6648. Of course, you can always send me an email, steve at tfnn.com or inside the Tiger's Den. Just simply uh, ping me with some kind of message. So let's go take a look at last night's activity, what's going on in the markets, what it all means as we speak right now with Dow 194. So these tools that you and I use, they're extraordinarily powerful. Uh, if we take a look at, we're just going to take a look at the, the indice that is powering ahead to the upside. That's the uh, NASDAQ. NASDAQ 100 right now up uh, uh, nearly nine tenths of a percent or 75 points out here. So as we take a look at what transpired yesterday, here we can see uh, both the TD setup nine count. That was at 2330. That was on the... Um, that was on January 6th. Then a Rhodes Momentum Indicator uh, signal, uh, 4 o'clock in the morning yesterday. Price breaks through support. Uh, doesn't do that until last night at about... Uh as the contract was coming to a close, but it put in a hammer candle. As soon as the market opened uh, because of the uh, missile strike and so forth, it took out the bottom of that hammer candle. Where the NQ30 minute formed its bottom was after a TD set up nine count. Remember, on a nine count, you can make your higher low on bars eight, nine, or the bar following nine. That was the bar following nine. Then what happens? You get a new profile, bullish structure profile that forms. So that happens at exactly 8.30 when that profile uh, takes place. Price runs right up to where it should resistance that was the top of that box that was around the 87 uh, 78 level uh, doesn't stay there for long that was also stevie's red line so price closes above that at 2200 hours out here what price does is it makes a run all the way back up to resistance resistance being 88 85 so as we got into the 630 time this morning uh runs right in resistance a td setup nine count which held up until about uh, 10 10 11 o'clock when uh, uh the thing started being released uh, with regard to what uh the president was going to say uh this morning now you can see that uh the 30-minute time frame chart for the NQ is forming bar 9 of a TD setup 9 count. So uh, this bar will end at 2. Bar following 9 would be 2.30. So if there's going to be a top or a high that's going to form, it's going to take place between now and 2.30, an hour from now, using this 30-minute uh, um, uh, chart and using the patterns that are available to us on that. In the meantime, and we'll come back to yesterday, last night, this morning's activity, but first let's go to one of our callers. We've got uh, Mark in uh, Fort Mullen. Uh, Mark, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you? Fort Collins, not Fort, Fort Mullen. Collins. Ah, <laughs> okay. You? Yeah, wasn't. I was going to ask you where Fort Mullen was at, but okay. Now, now we got it. Now we got it. Okay. So we're we're on the same page, and uh, the ticker symbol that you want to take a look at is the uh, MJ, which is the Alternative Harvest ETF out there. So tell me how I can help you. Okay. Well, I just subscribed to your newsletter, by the way, yesterday. So oh, uh, thank you. Um, I'm excited to have a year of of your advice and. Um, I did. I, I know you. I won't talk about it, but I know yeah. you had a had a, a mar medical marijuana stock in your in your yes. newsletter, and um, I just um, I've been watching the MJ for a while on my own, and I was waiting for it to test the um, the 1610 uh, level, which it looks like it did this morning on lighter volume, and um, I went ahead and, and picked some up around 1612, and I was wondering what your thoughts are. <laughs> Yeah, so great. So here's the reason why inside the newsletter uh, we were taking a look at uh, um, the alternative harvest ETF, MJ, or the marijuana stocks. It's because in the case of MJ, so you're going to like this, or you should like this. So if we take a look at what it did, uh, and let me get the uh, date out here. This was on the trading day of November 19th. Uh, first, price was moving lower, doing less relative energy. So it's creating that Rhodes Momentum Indicator pattern. It does that. It has a bullish reversal candle, the piercing candle. Also... Uh, it generates a uh, wave number seven count. That's letter G. So there's two bottoming signals out there. And you're now picking this instrument up uh, at its uh, at its oscillator and change line, that red line, as well as uh, testing a prior bullish reversal signal from December 31st. That's where your 1610 level comes from. So that looks good. 
Um, if I take a look at the weekly time frame chart, it too shows that Rhodes momentum indicator bottom. So, Mark, what we have here is we've got a daily and a weekly time frame for the ETF, in essence, of the uh, marijuana stocks that suggests that a bottoming pattern is in. On the monthly time frame, we really don't have anything. It hasn't traded enough for us to get enough from a signal, so we just simply have to rely on the daily and weekly. So, I do believe that the marijuana stocks are showing bottoms out there, and I, I like the trade. Um, you know, I like the trade. I like the trade today, the way that it has bounced off of that prior little breakout area from December 31st. And right now, where you're going to potentially run into resistance is either 1675 or um, 1710 to 1736 out there. But I, I, I do like it. Okay, good. And yeah, um, I'm not going to disclose the one that's in your newsletter yeah. on the air here, but I went ahead and took a position that too as it was bottoming today, um, and then I realized that it, it, it looks like it may have taken out your stop, but it I'm going to stick it, with that one as well, I think, for a little bit. <clears throat> yep. Nope. Uh, they're, they're, they're both good. Uh, they're both good. And it's an area in the market as I scanned, you know, 3,000 different uh, stocks and ETFs out there. It's the one area that stood out that is attempting to form a bottom out here. So, okay. um, yeah. So, you know, the routine inside the newsletter, you've got um, especially so on on uh, on MJ specifically, uh, it's got a 40 cent, a 48 cent average true range out there. So just kind of use your stop should be some expansion of that uh, level out there. So best of luck with you on that trade. Thanks for uh, signing up for the newsletter. I'm uh, looking forward to, uh, to working with you. Yeah, thanks, Steve. Appreciate it. Thanks you bet. You bet. Mark in Fort Collins, not Fort Mullen, Colorado out there. So uh, let's go back and take a look at the market. So we were looking at the 30-minute time frame. And so these tools that uh, you and I take a look at, these are all tools that you can figure out how to use on your system. If you're a subscriber like Mark, you've got the access to archive workshops that will teach you how to uh, do that. And then, of course, you've got access uh, to me. So you know, to the extent that you were trading uh, last night, it doesn't matter to me what level, what skill level you are. Uh, are at uh, these tools are helpful in um, in helping you make decisions because we watch them look nothing is going nothing I'm going to be able to share with you works 100% of the time with one exception the thing that does work 100% of the time is before you enter a trade is having your exits both at the upside and the downside. So it doesn't matter whether you're long or short, you've got uh, you've got a one cancel and OCO order in your system. And that way, you know, you are most objective, most objective before you've entered the trade. Once you enter the trade out there, sometimes it's a little bit difficult to become objective out there. We've got a request to go take a look at ticker symbol um, CRPB, CRPB. PB. So let me get that up on the uh, screen, see what that is. CRPB, spell it correctly. And I did not do that. CRPB, um, SNP, nothing is popping up on my CROBP, CRBP. See, uh, not only do I go to the TFNN school of typing, well, that didn't work either. Oh. I'll get it up before we get back from this break. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from 30000 to 75000 the interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190.
If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, uh, folks. So we're taking a look at ticker symbol CRBP, BP, that is Corbis Pharmaceuticals for SNP inside the Tiger's Den. The specific question was, uh, what is the uh, target? And uh, my response is, we're at the target right now, and I'll pull over the chart to show that to SNP. Now, that doesn't mean that you need to exit the trade or anything. First, on the daily time frame, uh, you got a nice wide-ranging bar. You're above the daily profile, which is at 541. You're above the weekly profile at 516. And if price can move above this, 6, 14, 15, 16 ish type area where it's trading right now. And you'll see the chart when it pulled up on the screen. Then that says that where your next price target would be would be $7.61. So, how does Stevie get there? First, the $7.61 is a brand new monthly profile. It's bullish in structure out here. Price is above the center of that box, which is $5.32. So, longer term, SNP, my experience is that once on either a bullish or a bearish structured profile, in this case here it's a bullish structured profile, you're able to clear the center of the box, not by a penny or two, and you're well clear of it at 613. That odds favor that price that, that buyers with inside this area, which is 456 to 761, now have the energy to be able to push price and should be able to push price up to the top of that profile out there. So that's where that now the reason that we came up with this 614 ish, 611 ish area is because price is hitting Stevie's green line right now. Now price is just slightly above that. And that's really what you want to see. Now, obviously, this is a monthly chart. And so the body of this candle won't form until uh, whenever the last day of the trading month is. I don't know if it's the 31st or not. So, but you are up at a resistance area. And if price can clear this, well, that just bodes well, bodes well for um, what we took a look at. That green line is the oscillator unchanged line. I can't go through a complete description of it with the other questions that we have on board, but um, that is um, a workshop that's going to be added to um, the um, members page for, of archived workshops out there. Um, I'm gonna ask Tommy to do that in the next couple of days uh, for us. So SNP, that would be one way for you to get the 
all the kit and the full kit and caboodle for that. But just know that you're up at a resistance level, and clearing that would uh, suggest you'd move up to the 761 area. There was a question from John in the Tiger's Den about light sweet crude. Let me go ahead and uh, pull that up out here. Let's do that by taking a look at multiple time frames, but primarily kind of focus in on the daily and the weekly profile levels here. And uh, what this shows us at the moment right now, John, uh, I don't rec I don't know your question. Let me see if I can get it. Is uh, anything pop out of your work leads you to guess? Um, guess if 58.60 is level to holds or declines. So a uh, price is trade at 59.40. So you got. So here's what I'm going to really do for you, John. Is there's a new weekly profile that is forming out here. Now, we're, of course, we're looking at the February contract, and you and I will go take a look at I will punch up here my my uh, synthetic version just to see if the profile levels change. But right now, let's go with the data that we have. The data that we have says you're going to be watching 59.11. 59.11 is the bottom of its weekly profile. This, too, is bullish in structure. Uh, I'll make it a little bit easier for you to see if you're watching us on Tiger TV or inside the den just simply by turning price off. So as I turn price off, now you'll see the current profile. You'll see the center line closer to the bottom than it is to the top. So 59.11, based upon using the February contract, is the key that you're watching. If price closes below that, well, then actually, do I have it up here? I don't. I've got gold up here. Um, let me see. This might be the easiest way to do it. Uh, it'll take just a moment to populate, and so in that time period, I'm going to have to tell you guys a joke or something like that. Nah, I won't do that. We'll just let it populate, and I'll pull over my other, just my daily time frame chart. Um, the daily time frame chart, John, would, uh, <clears throat> it says that today I've got it as wave number seven. So you kind of know what that means. That means it's more of a top than just a one-day wonder to the downside out here. Uh, but watch that uh, first key level of support on the weekly time frame. Now, the other weekly time frame chart, when I say other, my synthetic contract. Now, realize that in this um, in this set of tools here, the synthetic version, I can take data back as far as I want to because this is I have stitched together all of the actual tradable contracts to create a tradable version, not a continuous contract version of LightSuite Crude. So because we've got more data, the more data you have, this is just simply all numbers. This is just nothing more than a numbers game that you and I play out here. What we just need to know are the rules of the game, and the rules of the game are understand where your P's and Q's are, or really your, your S's and R's, your Steve Rhodes's, right? Your, your support and resistance levels. Now, in this case here, John, utilizing this, which I think is a little bit more accurate, um, prices trade below the bottom of that monthly, I'm sorry, below the center of that bearish structured monthly profile, which is at 6020. So this is suggesting a pullback to about the 5694 level. We take a look at the light sweet crude. That's what I see at the moment. So hope that helps you out. Those are what Stevie's tools are suggesting to you and I. There are a couple of questions in here, so let's try to get to those. You've got uh, Max wanting to take a look at triple Ds out here. So let's go take a look at uh, those. DDD, that's the uh, 3D printer, 3D system corp. Wow, what a uh, move it has today. What a move it has today. Up with big volume, 3.7 million shares, uh, taking out prior highs that had volume, taking out a resistance level of 914 on the daily, 980 on the uh, weekly. And uh, so your question is, you're long at 850. Is it time to sell? Man, not, I don't, I'm not seeing it right now. But let me pull up my, uh, let me get over to my other sets of charts out here and uh, type in 3D systems. And to see what we've got because, you know, you're closing. It's closing. Here's what I want you to take a look at, uh, Max, and, and congrats on the uh, trade out here. I just want you to see that, you know, price is trading above the top of that weekly profile. Now, granted, it's only Wednesday, so you want to be able to see this on Friday. You want to see that resistance level fail. And then what you've got is you've got an A to B equal CD to the upside. If we take a look at the weekly uh, chart to uh, put that pattern in here, our A point is the bottom of the week that began August 12th, the B point. Uh, the week of November 4th, and the D point uh, or the C point of uh, that A to B equals CD looks like the low on November 25th. And your one to one A to B equals CD pattern would get you up into the 1162 area. So I say hold on to it at this stage, don't exit from it. Uh, here's the monthly time frame chart here. Um, what do we see? Hey, you're above Stevie's red line on that, so we're good with that. Says that price can continue moving higher. Um, 
this did form, I have this as a uh, wave number seven. When it forms its bottom out here, um, you're only going to be in wave number three today or letter C. It doesn't draw a C on my screen right now, but uh, you can see, you know, you can see where the last uh, uh, notation was B and we're above that level. And on the uh, daily time frame, yeah, I, I don't see a reason to uh, sell this, Max. If, it, if it's me, and it's just if it's me, you may trade differently, but if it's me, I'm holding on to it. Uh, so, uh, I, you know, good luck. Uh, good luck with that uh, trade. Just keep a stop in place. Just keep a stop. And by the way, the stop here, uh, can I give that to you? I can tell you the average true range is 37 cents. So just 37 times 1.618, less today's close would be a good place for you to put a stop. Uh, Alex wants to see if we've got a price that you would sell Alibaba, B-A-B-A. -A. So in essence, what Alex is asking for is, hey, Steve-O, where is resistance that uh, we need to uh, consider um, possibly exiting Alibaba? We're going to go to a break right now, but here's what we know before we go to that break. Prices above the top of the box, the daily, the weekly, and the monthly. It's looking pretty good. We'll be right back. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. If you're a trader in the market looking for exposure to gold or gold mining equities, then now is a perfect time to sign up for Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. The summer is over, gold is trading back above $1,500, and the 10-year treasury is hovering at around 1.5%. Tom O'Brien has been writing his weekly gold report for almost 18 years. There's no one that knows more about how the gold market trades and how gold mining equities react. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, Tom publishes his weekly gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. As of September 3rd, Gold Report subscribers have five active open positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 38% for each position. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up today by visiting TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powerful by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. This is David White. Stay tuned because coming up next is the Power Trading Hour right here on TFNN. Welcome back, uh, folks. So we're taking a look at Alibaba for Alex. Uh, and uh, Alex, what I have out here, you've got a confirmed A to B equals CD pattern on the weekly time frame. Uh, the B point. Uh, which was the week that began April 29th, had 67 million shares. That was passed 
on November 25th, the week that began November 25th with uh, twice the volume, 122 million shares. Now, price should continue to move higher. I'm using the weekly time frame out here to give you the next uh, price objective, approximate price objective, because you're above the one-to-one -one level, and that would be 231.84. Now, if between now at 220 and 231.84, you see some type of bearish reversal candle, you're going to be have to you're going to have to be very careful, because that could be then confirming, I sell the D point, uh, and that in essence is what you were looking for. The daily time frame, um, I'd mentioned that uh, price was above all of those profile levels out there. The daily time frame, as we pull this open, price is moving higher. Uh, with less relative energy out there. So again, on the daily time frame, you'd be looking for some type of bearish reversal signal. But even if you get that, price may only pull back to test support. Uh, the lowest level of support, well, the lowest level would be 198.55 on the daily. That's its most recent breakout area. Above that is 209.05, and then you've got the 214 and 216 areas, the center and the top of the box out there. So, Alex, I'm going to suggest that you uh, just simply stay put on uh, this, uh, this uh, uh, position. Uh, all looks good right now. Watch for the bears to show up. They cannot hide. Hey, if we take a look at the New York Stock Exchange real quickly, we can see that advanced decline oscillator back above zero, combined with the spot volatility index below its 50-day exponential moving average, which is 1365. Right now, it is trading out at 1329. These are all signals that prices should continue to move higher, at least the S&P 500. If we take a look at those profiles, though, the S&P 500 needs to clear, close above 3263.50. That's its resistance level, but the NQ, the leader of the gang, is above the top of that weekly box, 8907, 8907 and a quarter. So all things point to higher prices. Folks, thanks so much for being here. Stay tuned. Your favorite polar bear, David White's up next. After that, Tom O'Brien to take us on home, and I'll be back with you on Terrific Thursday. Have a wonderful Wednesday, folks.